Are you somebody looking to explore cold showers and some of their benefits? Well, I've been doing cold showers for eight weeks now, and I'm gonna tell you some of my benefits. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Josh. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about cold showers and some of the benefits that I have noticed over the last eight weeks of doing them at the end of every shower. Now, when I start my showers, I typically start warm and then I end it on cold or I go to cool and then I go to colder and I colder and I try to stay there as long as I can until I've quote, had enough and I move on out of there. And if you know a lot about cold exposure or cold showers, and you'll probably appreciate this episode. And if you don't know much about cold showers, make sure you understand and watch some of our videos about some of the benefits of cold plunges and cold showers. That being said, some of that information that I have explained about reducing inflammation, it's not like I took my blood work before and then after. It's not like I checked my immune system before and after. So I can honestly tell you that I cannot find a increase or benefit from that. I don't feel like quote, my, like my body's any better or any more mobile or any less inflamed from all this stuff. But what I can tell you is that I definitely feel more energized. I feel more energy right after I finish these showers and it even lasts for several hours upon end. So, you know, once I do this, it's kind of like jumping in cold water. You're just like, it, you just feel it right away and I feel a lot more energy and it tends to last a lot longer as well. So I found that like it's really, really productive. So I'm fe feeling a little bit more productive for several hours after taking these cold showers and it just really is a nice thing. So if I need a little boost or if I'm feeling a little fatigued, you know, hop on a cold shower and then boom, you feel a lot more better, a lot better and a lot more productive. Another major benefit that I have noticed when it comes to doing these cold showers is the ability to embrace the suck. I know it sounds kind of obvious, but the ability to do something hard has really helped me. It has really helped me do some of the things that I don't wanna do, and it has made things that, quote, normally suck during my workday or normally stink or really difficult to do during my workday or my personal life, it's just made it a lot easier. So. If you're somebody looking to level up your game, your level up your business, you're leveling up your fitness, whatever it might be, it is really, really important that you start to do things that are a little bit more challenging, a little bit more difficult because, you know, as you get more difficult or as things happen throughout your day and your life, doing difficult things at the beginning of the day, especially like a cold shower is in the middle of the winter and you're, you know, you're trying to give yourself some cold exposure and you're cold and you just want to sit in front of the heater. Doing that right off the bat is going to make the day so much easier. And I have just found that the day has been a lot easier. The weeks and the couple months that, ha that I've been doing this for has just been a lot easier. So if you're going through a tough time or if you want to improve your fitness, doing this hard stuff no matter how much you don't want to do it, and it's not like I ever want to do cold showers, just doing this ongoing has just been part of my routine, no matter how much I don't want to do it. Uh, you can do it for 10 seconds, five seconds, just doing a little bit of something hard can make the rest of your day a lot easier. So start with cold showers, and I have found a huge benefit just by doing this, and I find that like not only does my energy feel better, but embracing the suck has felt a lot better as well. So if you are somebody watching this episode and you have lower back pain, make sure you download our free lower back pain guide. It is completely free and it has some of the best exercises that are necessary for you to start getting your back pain in check right off the bat. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you for the next episode.